Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix black screen issue with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to verify the game files. So for this, go to Steam Maker, right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrity game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, Allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings. Go to privacy and security if you have Windows 11. In Windows 10, go to update and security and then click on Windows security. Now, click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down. At the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now, click on allow an app through controlled folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, open the game folder. And then select the game exe file. Click on open. Again, click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Open this folder. Binaries, Win64. This time, select this exe file. Click on open. Again, click on add an allowed app. Browse all apps. Select all the exe file. Open. Again, browse all apps and then, yeah. Now once added, now type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel and then go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall and then click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings, click on allow another app, click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, select the exe file, click on open and then click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse, open this folder, binaries, Win64, select this exe file, click on open, and then click on add. In my case, it is already add, added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse, select this one, and then hit up. And then, now, once the game is added, now you can launch the game. So in my case, the game is already added. Now you can launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files, and then make a right click over here. Open this uh, frag punk folder, binaries, win64, and then scroll down. Over here you can see the exe file. Make a right click on the exe file, select properties, go to this tab, and then put a check on run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game from here. If that does not work, go to properties once again. And this time, put a check over here and then select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try Windows 7, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, do the same thing with the first exe file. So, okay, if not working, you can do the same thing over here and then check. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, in that case, you can uncheck these boxes. So, when you put a check over here, still not working, then in that case, you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now, the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So, make a right click on the game, select properties, Go to the general tab in the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, then this time you can type in dash DX12. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, you can remove this and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to rename or delete the save game files. Now, now for this, uh, before you rename and delete the save game files, let me inform you, you will lose all the saved settings and the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So if you agree, you can open File Explorer, then go to this PC, open C drive, now open Users folder, now open Your Username folder, now open App Data folder. If you don't see App Data at the top, click on View, select Show, put a check on Hidden Items, and then open App Data folder, Local folder, and now open Fragpunk folder. Or you can just copy this folder first, just create a backup. 
now once you have a backup over here now you can rename or delete you can make a right click you can even delete it or if you want you can just rename it now once you rename or delete it now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest geforce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card users can go to amd website first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver restart your computer and then go to amd website select your graphic card and then update the latest graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this you can type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app over here and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select this exe file click on add once the game is added over here now you can click on the game here you can see gpu performance select high performance and you will see your graphic card again scroll up click on add desktop app once again open this folder binaries win64 and then select this exe file and then click on add once the game is added you can find the game in the list now once you find the game click on the game over here and again select high performance and you will see your graphic card over here now launch the game and then check still not working run this command these commands are provided in the video descriptions so type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key and then copy the second command paste it over here hit the enter key and then run the third command paste it hit the enter key and once this is done now you can launch the game and then check still not working install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website install these visual studio files so scroll down and install this x86 and x64 so click on x86 file and then you can run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and then click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file as well again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once installed then restart your computer restart is a must after this so make sure both are installed and then once installed you can close these windows and then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it disconnect extra controller sometimes we have extra controller connected or usb dongle connected disconnect it disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party services or application running close it also remove the undervolt so if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt disable steam overlay now for this you can make a right click on the game select properties go to general tab turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game now if you have any 
other overlay application like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay if you have NVIDIA app running. If you have NVIDIA app running, you can go to uh, settings and then you can turn off NVIDIA overlay. So when you go to the settings, you will see NVIDIA overlay option. Just ignore this error message for right uh, for now. Uh, so you can just open NVIDIA app and then you will see settings option somewhere over here and then you can disable NVIDIA overlay. Also, if you have any other overlay application, you can close it. Also, if you have any overclocking application, like if you have MSI afterburner running, in that case, you can close MSI afterburner. If you have river tuner running, you can close river tuner. So sometimes it's hidden over here. So uh, you can just make a right click and then close it. You can make a right click on revert tuner, close it. Also perform clean boot. Now for this type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So make sure you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then hit apply. Click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to AMD users install this AMD 25.2.1 optional update. So you can search in Google and then you can go to AMD website and then scroll down over here. You can see optional update. Click on it. And then once the download is complete, run this exe file, install it, restart your computer and then launch the game. If that does not work, you can even install this 25.1.1 optional update. Again, for this, you can search in Google and then go to AMD website and then scroll down and then you can download this file. And once the download is complete, run this exe file, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So go to Windows update or update and security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly. In my case, it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So, and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16. 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. 
So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 4915152. One. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart the computer after this. Now the next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, update the BIOS in case of laptop, make sure battery is connected, battery, the charger is connected when you update the system BIOS and the battery is more than 10% and then update the BIOS, log into the computer and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can just make a right click, manage, uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like D drive, E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check if the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.